Hi. Thank you uh, for joining me today uh, as I share my story of how I came out of uh, the organization uh, that they call Jehovah's Witnesses. Well, uh, I named my channel Cassandra the Truth because I finally wanted to get a chance to tell my part and my story. Um, my mom, she became affiliated with the Jehovah's Witnesses when I was around four years old. Um, the religion was brought to uh, her by my older siblings who uh, thought that it was, you know, it was a good idea for her to uh, come inside of the religion. And I don't know, um, it seems that the uh, Jehovah's Witnesses target people with a lot of kids, low income, people who don't really have that uh, much education. And those were the criteria that my mom fit at the time. She was married uh, to my stepfather, who was a, a heavy drinker. So um, she was just prime, you know, uh, pickings for them. So uh, she began to take us to the uh, the Kingdom Hall, and uh, which they uh, they don't believe in uh, holidays and just uh, not um, pledging for the flag and. Just different things that little children are going to uh, st uh, stand out to be different among their peers. And this uh, teach you as a, a kid, who, which a child really don't want to feel different than all their peers. But this is the uh, main thing that they want to make sure that you feel like you're no part of any uh, other place besides the organization. So... Um, we became a part of the uh, the organization, having to uh, go to like five meetings uh, a week and go out in the field service. Uh, that's like knocking on doors and trying to get other people to uh, come along and be a part of the organization. It's the main thing for you to just try to get people to, uh, to come inside the organization. So this is what, um, what she did, and that's what we, we grew up doing. Uh, at that time, they told us that the uh, world was not going to last long and that uh, that Jehovah was going to destroy this system of things. So uh, everybody was just, you know, kind of like you didn't have to do anything but just look forward to the uh, the new system. But that, that time passed, and uh, people still, my mom, she still... Uh, Kept looking forward to the uh, the the time when the uh, system was going to to end, but um, of course, it, you know it it didn't. But um, being uh, my by my uh, stepfather being a heavy drinker, uh, she didn't really fit in too good because um, it's a caste system that's inside the uh, organization, whereas. The uh, elders and the people, it seems like the, the men who had decent jobs uh, would could be able to be a, a elder. People who uh, like decent jobs like working at telephone companies, maybe the uh, um, gas company, some, somewhere where it was uh, like decent and, and it, maybe 40 hours or more, they could kind of move up the ranks a little bit. But if you had a waiter job, you really couldn't really say you made consistent money. They would not give you your, uh, to be no, you couldn't really get into the position of elder too fast. But uh, the ministerial servants and, and, and people like that, the younger men who was unmarried, who were ministerial servants or whatever they call, they could like choose any other women that they wanted out of there. So I became nervous as a teenager, uh, knowing that they could choose me, even though I wasn't interested in them, even that they could be 20, 25, 30 years older, as long as uh, they really was interested in you. And with my mom being uh, kind of really indoctrinated inside of the organization, I felt that she could really uh, allow any of them that was interested in marriage to marry me 
So at that time, I began to just, um, as a teenager, to just try to run away from that and begin to um, go seek out uh, people that, that uh, were not a part of the, uh, the organization. Because I, I really didn't feel that connected to the organization. It made me feel like I was in it, but it was it was something about it. Never being able to uh, feel special. Nobody knew your birthday because you couldn't celebrate no birthdays. Nobody uh, knew. Just It's like I became invisible. So um, when as I go, grew older, um, like a teenager, I began to date outside of the organization. And you could not do that. My mom, when she worked, we would sneak, I would sneak around to uh, see uh, guys that would be all right with sneaking behind because uh, she, you couldn't come straight over over to my mom's house unless she was a person in the, in the, uh, inside of the Kingdom Hall, the organization. So it just puts you in a position of not being able to pick anybody who was really a, a candidate for, for anything. And, but in the back of your mind, although you didn't believe or want to be inside the organization, you still believed that the or, that the world was going to end. So your expectations weren't so high. Your dreams were null and void, but you still was in, in life. And so you just did what you was kind of taught to do. So I ended up um, 